guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is another bullet journal plan with me for the month of April 2021. This month I asked you guys both on Tumblr and on Instagram under the same surname Sunscreen Studies what you would like me to do for bullet journal theme in April and a lot of you came back with fantasy related things, dragons, magic, um, and one person suggested The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, both of which I absolutely adore. So I decided, okay, this month we're going to do a Hobbit Lord of the Rings theme. Unfortunately, I have been super, super busy these last few weeks, and I will be for the next few weeks as well, so I couldn't go into as much detail as I would have liked for this month's theme. I'm sticking with my usual setup for the cover page, I always include a quote. This month, of course, had to be the inscription that's on the one ring which rules them all, as well as a simple April written in the middle using the Elvish font script with that I found online. Next, we move on to my favourite page from this month's spread, as well as the most detailed page. This is my events to-do list and next month tracker. I decided to use Bilbo's Hobbit door, which is iconic in the books as it is in the movies. And it did take a lot of figuring out how to size it, how to draw the different circles, but I am mostly happy with how it turned out. After I drew in the outline, I came back in with colouring pencils, which I very rarely use since I don't quite like how they end up looking. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't think of any other alternative to this, so I decided to use the colouring pencils. So of course Bilbo's door is bright green, it has been in every possible adaption of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. And once that is coloured, I have gone in around the end with different shades of red and brown, which are meant to be bricks holding the door in place. There are exactly 30 bricks for each of the 30 days in April. I will explain to you guys how that works in a moment. But first of all, I drew two flower pots just outside the door, which are my to-do list and my ideas for next month's spread. So after quickly putting in a few flowers to make it more colourful, I added the stone steps in front of the house. I had to use multiple different shades of grey, brown and green to try and give this a 3D effect, but I think that it turned out very well. The colouring was done, I went back in with my two favourite pens. It is a metallic gold pen as well as a metallic silver pen and I just used these to add a small bit of extra colour as well as write in on top of the colouring pencil. with those pens I quickly put the bullet journal aside so they could have a few moments to dry and I brought out the map that I printed from offline that I want to use for each of my weekly spreads. So first of all I measured each of the pages to figure out how big I wanted every piece to be. I wanted to use all of the map but of course there is an uneven number of weeks in April so it took quite a while to figure out how many squares I should cut. Once that was done, I quickly measured out each square on the back of the map so I wouldn't be putting any pencil on the drawing itself. And then I went in with the scissors and just quickly cut up each piece. Since there are five weeks in April, I have divided it into four equal pieces as well as one larger final piece. And you will see how I divided that up later on. Once that was done, I quickly drew just a few lines going diagonally across the back of the map to help me cut them in a straight line. I decided to add each piece in separate triangles and they act as sort of corner bookmarks for each weekly spread. 
So after making sure that the new metallic ink was dry, I just went back in with a brown staple mod liner just to add a bit more depth and detail to the door. Finally, here's just a quick example of how you would use this style of events tracker. So I'm simply drawing a line coming out from each state and then writing what is occurring on the line. So for example, 1st of April is April Fools, so I've written that in with my usual Stapleo marker. So it is on to my first of five weekly spreads. I have taken the map that I divided up yesterday and I'm just cutting these into their triangular pieces before gluing them down in place. Each of my weekly spreads for this month are quite similar with one another and they don't have a lot of detail because as I said I didn't have much time to fully plan this out. I'm just quickly gluing these in place making sure to get each of the edges because it is so so annoying when these pages start peeling after only using spread for a few days before going in with my ruler which is a really easy way to make sure that there are no air bubbles underneath whatever page you are gluing in place and it also helps flatten the page and make sure there's no wrinkles. So after each of the four easy weeks are done, it is on to my final week in April. Thankfully, since it is an uneven number of days, as there are only five days in the final week of April, I decided that I could make pieces a bit larger and I would still have room to write in my day-to-day -day activities. So although I would have liked to have kept the triangular theme, I found that the squares worked just as well. Now it is on to adding the final two details for each of this month's weekly spreads. I have added two circuit boxes, both on the top and the bottom of the page, which are four centimeters wide and eight lines high. And I've divided these again into eight different parts. So one of these grids are going to be used as my habit tracker, while the other will be used as a day-to-day -day schedule, since my days for the next few weeks are a bit all over the place. Eight boxes across gives me enough space to write each of the seven days, as you can see, as well as having one box free in order to write in either the times of the day for my daily schedule, or else imagery that I use to keep track of habits. After quickly adding in the exact same details for each of the weeks, that brings us to the end of this video. Here's a quick flip through of how each of the weeks look, as well as the original cover page. I will follow it of course with the usual images. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe and comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos, or if there's any particular bullet journal team you'd like me to do for me. I post new videos every two weeks, so I'll see you guys then.